Good afternoon students. This is SP Smart School Learning Program. The subject is chemistry. In this video, we are going to discuss the question and answer of the NCRT. So the first question we are going to discuss is why should a magnesium ribbon be cleaned before burning in air? As we know that when magnesium ribbon is burned in the presence of oxygen, what we get is magnesium oxide which is white in color so when the magnesium ribbon remain exposed to the moist air a white layer of magnesium oxide is formed on the surface which hinders the burning of the magnesium so we should remove the layer of the magnesium oxide before by the sandpaper before burning in the air so it is important to remove the layer of the magnesium oxide before burning. The next question is which is very important question. A solution of substance X is used for whitewashing. We have to name the substance and its formula that is used for whitewashing. And we have to write the chemical reaction as well. So the substance used for whitewashing is the calcium oxide. When this calcium oxide reacts with water, what we get is calcium hydroxide. So the common name for the calcium hydroxide is slaked lime. So this absorbs the carbon dioxide present in the environment and produces calcium carbonate which is the end product after two or three days. So this calcium carbonate forms a hard coating on the wall. Now we will discuss the chemical reaction that has taken place. So this is the calcium oxide when it reacts with water. What we get is calcium hydroxide. So the common name for the calcium hydroxide is slaked lime and the common name for the calcium oxide is the quick lime. So this calcium hydroxide when reacts with the carbon dioxide present in the room, what we get is calcium carbonate and water. So this water is precipitated after two or three days. So what we get is the calcium carbonate on the walls and the walls appear shiny. Next very important question is why does the color of copper sulfate solution changes when an iron nail is dipped in it so when the iron nail is dipped in the copper sulfate solution the following reaction take place that is fe when reacts with copper sulfate what we get is ferrous sulfate and copper is displaced by the iron so in this reaction the iron has displaced or removed another element copper from copper sulfate solution so this reaction is called as the displacement reaction so why this occurs because iron is more reactive than copper so it has dip displaced the copper from its solution that is copper sulfate so the color that is blue dark blue color of the copper sulfate solution faded and the color becomes greenish blue next question is we have given a reaction in this reaction we have to tell which one is getting oxidized and reduced and we have to tell which one is the incorrect from the options we have so what we have is lead oxide when reacts with carbon what we get is lead and carbon dioxide so it is clearly seen that the lead oxide has reduced to lead and the carbon is oxidized to become carbon dioxide so the first option tells us that lead is getting reduced that is incorrect because lead oxide is getting reduced second option we have is carbon dioxide is getting oxidized as you can see 
in the answer the carbon is getting oxidized to carbon dioxide so the second option is also incorrect the c option is carbon is getting oxidized that is exactly and the d option is lead oxide is getting reduced which is absolutely correct because lead oxide is getting reduced to lead so we have two incorrect and two correct answers so in this we have to tell the incorrect so the incorrect answer is a and b next question we have is we have given a following reaction we have to tell what reaction this symbolizes is this a combination reaction double displacement reaction decomposition reaction or a displacement reaction so what we have is fe2o3 when reacts with aluminium what we get is al2o3 and iron as you can see that fe2o3 in the left side the aluminium has displaced the iron and make the compound and iron is displaced by the aluminium as you can see on the right side so there is a formation of compound and element on the left side similarly same is on the right side that is the compound and the element which symbolizes with the displacement reaction so the answer is the displacement reaction as the aluminium has displaced the iron so the aluminium is more reactive than iron so the aluminium displaces the iron from its salt solution so it is a displacement reaction as you can see this chart here is the iron and this is the aluminium so aluminium is more reactive than iron so it displaces the iron from its salt solution next question we have is what happens when the dilute hydrochloric acid is added to the iron fillings so when the iron fillings is added with the dilute hcl what we get is ferric chloride and hydrogen gas is released so hydrogen gas and iron chloride are produced in this reaction 